Hey everybody, Wolf Spectre here with GameHolio.com. Back for another round of Firewatch. Um, I was thinking all day long about this game, actually. It's kind of a thought-provoking game, I guess you could call it. Uh, I actually wanted to go to Wyoming. You will never hear anybody say that ever in your entire life. Except for right now. We're going to continue on to this thin column of smoke, but first, let's take a look at what's happened thus far. Suppose I'm going to the truck. Must be my truck. Um. What's the code again? <laughs> One, two, three, four. A whole lot of them. Okay. I was not paying attention. One, two, three, four. Open sesame. I see him. Now you've now you've angered me. Whoops. Yes. Someone broke in. Hey, what? They just they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Son of a bitch. Fucker. Holy shit. Um, I'll let the forest service know what happened. We uh, we walked out of the shelter and there was some graffiti on a trash can and it said Dicko Mayhem and um he walked over and peed all over it and there you go. <laughs> You're almost there. Okay, so... I was coming down the hill. Oh, a clawed up tree. I did not notice this before. This is actually kind of frightening. I was hoping there would be a bear. Let's ask Delilah. Hey, there's a tree out here that's been ripped to hell. And? Don't you think that's, you know, like, uh, disconcerting? Henry, there are 500-pound grizzly bears out here. They sharpen their claws on trees. Uh, we don't have grizzlies in Colorado. People killed them a long time ago. Well, in the thoroughfare, they hunt people, they kill people, they bury their bodies, and then come back weeks later to eat them because they prefer rotten meat. Good times. They just disappear. Don't you think that's disconcerting? A little bit. Oh, Henry, that's life. Okay. Nice, You're a psycho. He's okay with that, apparently. I don't know why. Okay, so we're going to this thin column smoke. Let's go. Rope hook. Shitty boss is going to get me killed, Hill. Yep, been here before. And down the rope. Faster, Henry. Stop complaining, Henry. The rope didn't break this time. Oof. Let's go see. Another rope hook here? Yeah, looks like there is. Um, do we need to go down that way, though, yet? Yeah, it's probably going to be easier if we do, it looks like. I'll take a look at the map, though, and see if there's any other caches about. Doesn't look like it. It's going to be a cache on our way, though, to Five Mile Creek. That's where the smoke is. All right. Repel. Okay. Look, just so you know, I didn't mean to overstep my bounds earlier when you brought up your wife. I know. You were just... Making conversation, I appreciate it. So, tell me about her, if you want. Uh, well, let's talk about the good first. She's a college professor. She's a PhD in biology, evolution, and stuff. Ooh, evolution. That's a risque subject in these parts. Indeed. She sounds sexy. She sure was. Where does she teach? Yale. Yale? Yep. The Yale. Shit, oh, there's that Henry. cash. She flew back and forth. I hated it. 
Yeah, I would too. Yeah. Anyway, that's her. Uh, open the cache. And I do remember the code from yesterday. All of you. I'm sure we're laughing hysterically. Copy. Missing person bulletin. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. The thoroughfare because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a ptsd a a-hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. Okay. Let's keep that for now. PTSD? That doesn't sound good. Yeah, I don't know. He was in the army. He was off. It's actually the saddest story. He was only discharged because his mother, Brian's grandmother, died. She'd been taking care of him, and Ned was the only next of kin. Damn. Hmm. Interesting. And you got to know Brian a little bit? Yeah. I talked to him way more than I'd talked to Ned, that's for sure. How was he at, uh, you know, spotting fires? <laughs> Better than you. He actually liked to stay in the tower. I haven't spotted a fire yet. There has been no fire since I have been here. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? Really? I did not. I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Uh, I'm at the stream now. Need to go around, I believe. Judging from the map, colors are super red right now. I'm interested to find another human. Oh, more beer. Found one of their empties. Guess we're on the right track. Roger that. Back to cleanup duty, apparently. Or not. Um. Must have been around this little bend here. All of the trail. Uh, yep, clothes. Looks like. Or something. A bag, perhaps. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. Good point. Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. I'm doing a look about. See anything immediately. I'm still wondering about those books. I want to go back to the tower and check them out actually. Go over them a little bit better. Is that campfire? I see a campsite and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? No, it seems like it. I swear, they must have drank four cases of beer out here. It's fine. Track them down and don't let them see you. What a job this is. Don't let him see you. It's not like this is stealth. I have entered the teen zone. Oh, really? And where's that? It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. Ah, those are my sheets. So they did break into your tower. Looks like... Well, I found some dangerous hunks. What? It's a beer. Earth, are you... It's another one of those magazines. These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. I want to take it. Come on. Pick it up, Henry. Let's get this goddamn thing. I want the booze. Okay. Well, let's see what we got here. More naked clothes. 
tent looks like it's been through the shredder, which would explain that scrap I found. Yeah. What could have done that? Like a like a bear or um. Well, there was bear claws it's earlier. Crazy, but even a bull elk, if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it did not hold back. You've got that camera, right? Uh, some of their clothes are all torn up. Uh, that's not. Oh yeah, how do I use the camera? Good point. There we go. There we go. Actually, use the camera for something. Excellent. You know, maybe I should take one of their sleeping bags as payback. At this stage, take whatever you want. Oh, wait. Pick up that beer can. Or go back and pick up the case of beer, for God's sakes, Henry. Uh, it looks like someone left a note. Intriguing. Maybe you should read it. Okay, yeah. Let me know what it says. Read. You're psycho. I hope you're fucking happy. <laughs> Destroyed their campsite. Um, I did not steal any panties or tear up your campsite. Oh, they're gone for sure. Well, what's it say? Uh. because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, uh, did you? What? No, well, hey, I didn't do this, okay? Someone or something went to town here, but it wasn't me. Because I told you to scare them, not I didn't them. do anything! I didn't. Of course I didn't. I just threw their stereo in the lake. Yeah, I really wish you wouldn't have done that. This is, I don't know, weird as hell, but it wasn't me. It's it's okay. I believe you. This is interesting. Stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know. But they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back. And we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah. I wonder if I can put out this fire. Yeah. I should probably... S well, it's day three. Never mind. We put out the fire and immediately it's day three because we burst into flames. And that's the end of it. Day three. The end. Oh my god. Fixing. Tap it in. Downstairs to patch the window. Okay. How about flame on? Hey, Henry? Mm hmm. Yeah. Um, what do you look like? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. Uh, Bert. Well, I get confused for Bert Reynolds all the time. Oh, is that so? Women say that we have a similar musk. Uh-huh. Hey, you asked. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. Got a powerful mustache. Oh, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. <laughs> and maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh... You know, PC or whatever they say. <laughs> PC, bro. Oh my God, you PC. Are the whitest man. Hey, wow. hey. I need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Um. Clothes. I don't really think don't about really it. Think about it. Oh come on. I got a sweatshirt I like. A good jacket I got at the Buckle Barn. Board. Oh, I love the Buckle Barn. Just one of those brown ones, you know. Oh, there's that whiskey bottle. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh, hmm. uh I have a thick beard, I believe. A thick beard? Oh, have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. All right, perfect. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. What? You're what? Is this uh, uh, that's kind of awkward. <laughs> Don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Okay. Fine. Your eyes. Tell me. Uh, I don't know. Happy. They're happy. I they guess I have happy eyes. Happy, happy, Aww. happy. Look, I don't know how to describe eyes. 
Yeah. Uh -huh. is good. That's good. We know. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Absolutely. Oh, and that uh, window is all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? It appears. What's next? What do you think is next? Well, uh, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. We go find stuff to do. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Now, well, let's go adventuring. It's Wyoming, for God's sake, see? For that task, and uh, I'll give it to you. Uh, I'm ready. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I yeah, I wanted to look at these books. Really Birds of Wyoming. Um, of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. I mean, it's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Yes. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. Death strikes at two. Uh, it's day nine immediately. We were. I looked at books for six days. <laughs> My God. Oh, look, a sandwich. It's apparently pretty good. Having a nice afternoon? Uh. Yeah. Not too bad. Seems fine. I'm used to it out here. I like sandwiches. That's nice. Look, um, I called with bad news. <sighs> Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. Um. I need an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. Uh, you should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, it's kind of weird. If, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? For now, I don't... It's probably worth mentioning, I guess. It's. I think it's worth mentioning something. Probably. Yeah. I'll, uh... I'll, I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. <sighs> this is getting weirder. When I thought it was going to be normal, we go back to work. Six days later, again, day 15. Okay. Sort of sorcery is going to happen here. Henry, wake up. I'm awake. You woke me up, lady. Get out of bed and pick up the radio. Okay, okay. Can I at least start a pizza? For God's sakes. What do you want? Uh, you're the big dumb idiot. Big dumb idiot. Yeah. Oh. Has your light on? I sound tired. What? Mm, I am. What? Are you having a nice time? Uh oh, it's Trip City. I'm actually getting goosebumps because that's weird. Henry, are you having a nice time? Uh, sure. Are you? Everything good there? Jules. What? Oh, sorry, Henry. Yeah, I'm good. Well, that's good. Well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. <clears throat> okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm-hmm, sure. Bye, baby. Um... What? Um... Is it too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand-delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. That's a good point. We're out hiking in 90 degree heat and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? So, kinda, yeah. When you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and I don't want to have to call in for more. Wait. There should be loads of good stuff, though. Beans, I'm, s I'm wondering about me tripping out. Turkey. Okay. You know, my 
my sister eats six prunes a day. Okay. Six. She's like really precise about okay. it. Okay. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheel. Just keep talking. Just keep talking. Ah. <sighs> Hey, so who's Jules? I I mean I assume it's your ex. I, I don't mean to pry. It's just um How do you know that name? I haven't said anything about Julia. Um Wait, is there something going on that I don't know about? Yeah, you, I'm I trip out at night, don't I? No. I call her. Okay. okay. A couple of weeks ago you called me in the middle of the night. And okay. You this makes sense. In your sleep, I guess. I only heard the name Julia, so I figured I'd ask. I see. Let's talk about her. Talk about. You don't have to. No, I'll talk it's about it because. Well, I, I fucked up. We all fuck up. But being out here can't be some sort of punishment for you. Go on. She got really early Alzheimer's, and I lost her. She's still alive. She's being taken care of back in Australia because that's where she's from. She's. She's there. Oh my god, Henry. And that's it. <sighs> I'm so sorry. Yeah. <sighs> Henry, listen. I think I already got this, but... Oh my god, I'm so sorry you've gone through that. I, I don't know if you've thought of it this way, but... Her family is taking care of her, and you need to take care of you. Thanks. Yeah. I'll let you keep hiking. I understand. I don't think it's that big a deal. Sound like I gave her Alzheimer's. Hmm. <clears throat> this is house blend. Starbucks house blend. Delicious. I suggest it. Okay, let's try and walk across this and not die because Henry is excellently athletic. Now, I'm hoping this supply drop has the high-powered weaponry that we're looking for because I feel like there's going to be a bear attack and I'm going to need to protect myself with, I don't know, automatic gunfire and a frag grenade. Hey, we're not. We're not. Okay, let's move along. Ah, supply drop. 60 feet to the left. Ah, here we are. Open sesame. Food for other lookout. Food for two forks lookout. I think I just want mine. Alright, I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? Yeah, I just took mine. Ooh, day 64, we're moving right along. Ah, that's good. You've got a front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Oh my, we finally got a fire here. Really going. I'm gonna call it in. I'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. Right. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. Name her? But why don't you do the honors? Okay, how about... Ah. Uh, maybe the Flapjack Fire. No ideas, huh? Uh, maybe we call it the Flapjack Fire. Can you sell that as a name? Yep. <laughs> I didn't know you liked that stupid joke. It's well, like flapjacks, lady. Just you know, shut your mouth. Day. I didn't feel as, um... Effusive? <laughs> yeah. Sure. Effusive. Effusive. Fair enough. Flapjack fire it is. They'll probably ask me if it was a camp cooking accident or something. Could be. So there's this creek down the hill, and, um... You know what my favorite thing to do is? Skinny dip. What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. What? And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. 
She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. Interesting. You'd like it there. I'm sure I would. Sounds pretty great. It is. Are you looking at the fire? Yes, I've been looking at the fire. You should. Let me know when you are. I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it again. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. Yeah. Yeah. Staring into the flames. Why do you say that? Why do you say that? Because I do. I'm not crazy. I mean, we've had such a good time, right? Uh, yeah. I think so. It's been great. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. And I know you're not really available, but... I want you to know, well... Maybe it'd be nice to get together at the end of the summer. Uh... Um, okay. Look, we don't have to plan or even talk about it. I'm... I'm just having the thought. I wish I was over there. Uh, you're all horned up. I wish you were too. We could sit outside. And drink. We could talk. Without these radios. We could, um... You know... Single malt. Uh, I know what you mean, lady. I think you want to... What, what could we do? What could we do? Well, let me tell you. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh. you're going fishing without a license. It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. Yeah, let's fish. No, I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There sure. was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Great, a bear. Sure thing. Is a problem a euphemism? Sure uh, thing. Sure, no problem. Remember me fondly. <laughs> Shut your mouth! They can do to a tree, and trees aren't even food. <laughs> I agree. Thank you, Henry. I agree with Henry. Uh, yeah, yeah. I agree with Henry. All right. See, this is that fire I stamped out. Oh, I don't know, seventy some days ago. Impressive, impressive display. Okay, so we're at the lake, where I infamously threw that boombox into the water, huh? You liked that, didn't you, you little shits? Clipboard. What do I have here? Uh, D, I found a clipboard down here, and I, uh... There's something strange going on. Uh, I forgot to read it. Get it back. Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. Uh... That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Was that her? Wait, hold on. Something's out here. It sounded like an elk. Henry... I'm worried. You didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know. I want to. Oh, I want to. I, I found a radio. Just let me know. I found a walkie-talkie out here too. Uh, okay. It oh, here's that. No, where's the? Oh, excuse me. 
Oh, excuse me. Uh, how do I get to that other stuff? I want to read. Shit house. We'll get it if you haven't already, and then we'll figure out whose it is. We'll do. Give me that. Oh, I just took a punch in the face. Oh shit. Damn it. I wanted to read that. Let me just happened? jacked me up. I, holy hell, I just I got hit in the head. Punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with what? Transcripts of our conversations? Yes. What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone. Along with a radio of theirs. Oh, I didn't get a chance to look! You could have just killed me, Delilah. Yeah. <sighs> I don't Son of a bitch. What? What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I, 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 I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Um, uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's, it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's where you saw that damn fence. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I see it. I'll, uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you... Are you sure you saw what what you saw, Henry? Yes! You pissed off some more campers, and they came back to sucker punch you. No. That's not what happened. This just... Oh, this just seems like a like a misunderstanding or something. No. Why don't this up? It's an insane lie at worst, and a shitty prank at best. Yeah, that's a good point. Been feeling okay? I feel fine. <sighs> okay, I'm sorry. I, I believe you, but that conversation was from two weeks ago. I know they were. So, what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Yeah, exactly. Our entire relationship, friendship, our our whole summer. Someone is out here with a walkie-talkie, taking notes and talking to God knows who. We need to change the station. Well, I guess it probably doesn't matter. They'll just change the station too. What do you think is going on behind that fence? <sighs> Good point. Apparently, a lot of following you around, taking notes, which is unfucking believable, Henry. Yeah, you're telling me. All right, I I'm on my way to Wapiti Meadow. I'll let you know what I find. Okay. There there's got to be a reasonable explanation. I'll yeah, I'm sure it's reasonable. Call around and see if anyone's had anything weird happen to them or seemed spooked. Uh, I don't want to make this bigger than it is yet, you know? Yeah, understood. Yeah, okay. Hike safe. Yeah, with all the murder mystery books out here, I think it's a little bit fucking weird. But hey, what do I know? My name is Henry. Okay. See if there's any... Is that blasted fence again? Okay, I'm at the fence. I don't see anyone around, but I'm not sure I can get past it. How big is it? Big. It goes off in both directions. Acres. Yeah. But what the fuck is going on out here? Whatever it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. Good point. Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but that's only a few square feet, usually. That's not what this is. <sighs> well, see what you can do to get past it. Teen U.S. Code... Looks like goddamn Area 51. Maybe they've got aliens. That'd be exciting. Yeah, it would be. Yeah, we'll see about that. That's where we get the assault rifles! I don't know what the 1863 is. Like, it's been up since 1863, or... It's just a code, I guess, but still. And what are the odds they left the gate unlocked? Pretty low, I'd imagine. Let me in. Okay, um, I've, I've given it the good college try, uh, no dice. <laughs> it was a good college try. I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Oh, you. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. Um... 
And I just break it with this rock. Use the rock. Nope. How about, uh... How's about... I don't see anything else around. Okay, and... Well, I was still trying to break in that thing. You know... Henry... Um... Huh. You think you think you'd... It, nope, can't climb it. Okay. <laughs> okay, so where are we headed now? At the gate. Ruby... Didn't she say? South of Ruby River. That's a long freaking ways. Okay. Um, let's go back to Jonesy Lake, I guess. I just, I just feel like we could, you know, climb over this motherfucker. No, it's not working. I hope I broke Henry's hand. About a bigger rock. No? It's not gonna do. Okay. I guess I'll go back. It was a waste. Game could really shortcut me if it felt like it. Come on. Come on, game. Shortcut me. Nope. Okay, we're going for a walk, everybody. Climb. Good job, Henry. Everybody is very impressed. You are an athlete. You're going to be in great shape when I'm done with you, though. I promise you that. I wonder if we can continue... Doesn't look like... I heard critters, but I didn't actually see any. As a matter of fact, we haven't seen any critters since we got here. What gives? Can we cut through there? Probably not. Okay. Let's run through the bush and see if we can't get spooked by another fella. Or how about a bear? Oh, hey! A butterfly! I did see a critter. Other than that, it has been completely devoid of all wildlife. I'm wandering around east of the lake. Which way is Ruby River? It's in the southeast corner of your map. The scout camp where the firefighters were staged should be on your map. It looks like a little triangle with a flat bottom. Yeah, yeah it looks like a tent. How did I never see that before? Uh... Yeah, I think we want to go down? No, we want to continue on that direction a ways. We get back to our place. Pretty much. Hey, I called around. Things seem normal with everyone else. Has anything strange been happening on your end? No, nothing really. Nothing really or nothing? What? Like Nothing. My door was open the other night, but that's not strange. That doesn't sound like nothing. Yeah. It's nothing, I promise. Alright, I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay. Keep your radio close to you. Hey, what you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground. Kind of like the one I use. It looked exactly like the one he used, just a different color. Maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Hailing me? me? Following me around, like, working with other people? Henry, you are way too much of a dope to be in the mob. 
Someone is clearly able to hear us sometimes and was hiding near the lake. Come on. I... I, I just... Just admit it. You're a little worried. Yeah, of as course, you should be. I'm worried, but let's just try to keep things calm, okay? Keep things on an even keel. How would you would you be calm after you just got beat? Left alive, or I don't understand. I'm so confused. I know we don't know what's going on yet, but I don't have a good feeling. I don't like feeling vulnerable. It's not like you can just call the police. I was thinking about the Goodwins. It just struck me that if anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian, just how scared he would have been. He had his dad to protect him. Yeah. Ned, right? Yeah. You don't think he could? No, you're you're probably right. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right. And every year he comes back. Wow, there's an old um, and kills uh, everyone. Wheel out here. Yeah, it was made by Crow American Indians hundreds of years ago. There are lots of small ones. Um, have you ever been to Medicine Wheel Monument over in the Bighorns? No, I sure haven't. Well, it's worth a three-hour detour on the way home in August. Uh, neat. I'll keep it in mind. Or not. Or not. Uh, I think I need to go south here, or whichever direction. Yeah. Yeah, so far so good. Um, okay, that was nothing. It was nothing. I simply thought I saw a pike with a human head on it. My eyes playing tricks on me. Me and Henry have been out here for way too long. Henry and I, rather. Supply cash. I say we fetch it. Yeah. Wow, Henry, yeah, jump! Because it's like... Not even a foot. Six inches. That's what she said. Okay. Copy. Do two forks, two lake. Yeah, there we go. That's what we needed. Take this note. Let's have a look see at this one. Read. Ron. Damn it, Ron. Dave is the one out here. Just because it says um, he likes to keep things pen to paper, I mean, that's just... Uh-huh, some TP. What's this? Charlotte Bronte. Examine. Nothing. Jane... Missing something here? Put back inside. It's this one. One chance to die. More murder books. By this Richard Sturgeon feller. It's the first. Blah, 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 blah. Red Panda Crime. Yes. Back. Or throw on the ground, whatever. Terminal 7. Now a major motion picture. Nothing. 
Nothing special, it looks like. Accidental savior. JFK. Nothing. Sixty-five cents. Nothing. It's nothing. I wonder if I should put these back. I should. Okay. Uh, the lending library. Yes, thank you. And I was off to... further south. Going in the right direction. I found where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks. Yeah, it wasn't in it. that wide. I'm extra appreciative of that. The scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. Okay. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Found some Someone stuff. Gets fired. Oh, are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. Oh my god. There's some old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. Do they have guns on them? Poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. Oh, what's the stripped engine? Whoa. Someone stripped these snowmobiles down to the bone. That's probably oh. normal, though. And that's weird, right? Not I really. Mean, I can come up with a bunch of not weird reasons someone would do that out here, but given what's happened, yeah. Yeah, that's weird. Dave's out here wrecking havoc. Uh, there's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah, where am I? Cork Pond. There used to be a sign up for it, but, um, well, folks kept stealing it. Pork Pond, because it's called Pork Pond. Pork <laughs> pond. It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den, or, you know, anywhere. <laughs> She's taken every last one of them. <laughs> Made it to the camp! Arapaho! Camp Arapaho. You there? Yeah, I am. <sighs> it's been out there since the 50s. I was never really into the idea of the scouts. It's something about men organizing boys around their ideals. It never sat right with me. Beware of weebelows in large numbers. Beware of anyone in large numbers. Beware of the word weebelow. The camp is out. Damn. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. Which direction? Not that way. We're going this way, it looks like. It th the game kind of does a good job of leading you in the general direction. Looks like we can over here. Is there a downed tree? I thought there was a downed tree. No? I mean, I would make this jump fairly easily. It's like somebody tried to chop that wood. Henry, however, is... Well, he's Henry. Another one. And I throw an axe at it. It doesn't look that hard. Henry. We get up right here. No, that's... That grade is too steep. That's, I don't know, 2%. <laughs> Okay. So we're lost and stuckish. Gotta be a way across here. I mean, why not just. Okay, I'm not even gonna talk about it. <laughs> I wonder if I can run and jump off this. Is this what the game wants? 
moment of heroism. Well, a long drop down. <laughs> it's it's the longest drop along the entire ravine. Okay. Okay, Henry. Totem pole. You ever talked to any of the scouts? No, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Well... If forced, I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. What, like what? nerdy hobbies are we talking about with him? Like, a uh, marching band? Oh, no, 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 no. Like, comics, model rockets, wizards and wyverns, you know. Oh. Hey! You watch your damn mouth, lady. I can almost recall by memory the armor classes of most dragons. The what? No, you yeah. can't. Yeah. Hey, Slayer Dragon's armor class. Let's see. Okay, no, I believe you. We're good. We're good. Don't, lady. Watch uh, your I mouth. Guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblos. For the past 35 years, yeah. There are bear traps out here in the scout shelters. Scouts are stalwart prey. That's messed up. <laughs> I kind of think it's messed up, too. Okay. Continue on. Did I not stomp this fire out? Why did it ask me to stomp out the fire? We didn't start the fire. Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Damn. Ooh, an axe! Finally, a weapon! I found a little trowel. Maybe I should take it with me. Could use it to pop open beers. Yeah. Wow. Um, 99% sure that's for burying poop. And I'm holding it. Maybe drop it? Uh, you Pick this up. Yeah, rub your hands on it. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Bro. Memo. Hey, D, they left something behind. It's uh, like a memo from... Read... Dr. Ben Simmons. Fireland. Okay. Their boss. Hmm. Nothing. Uh, next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare Special. on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? Yeah, Holy we crap. need to get in there. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. My mother always said I would need someone to give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. Yeah. And now we find out there's a research site out here that... That, that we don't know about? What are they researching? We assume there was already. Horned oh, toads. Probably just horned toads. And a Wapiti Station clipboard with our conversations on it is just, what, recreation for them? I'm just messing around. Somebody is obviously up to something. Obvi. Freaking out here. At least we Freaking know there's something man. real happening behind that fence. I think right. that we should consider that maybe this is all just a coincidence, but... My gut says that there is something bad going on. Mine too. Okay. These are just freaking out. So what's next? Well, I've we go. Next, so I can figure out a way to get over the ravine and back towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can and keep an eye out for anyone following you. Guess what? What you got? I found an axe back near that camp. Boom shakalaka! Finally some action! Yeah. Die, sticks, yeah, like die! Point. Sure does. Okay, that's called a Pulaski. It's standard issue. Yeah, we all know what a Pulaski this is. Pulaski, I found, means I can start clearing these trails. Come on, Officer Pulaski. Yeah, chop that wood. 
Yeah. The pure strength of Henry. Up over. Well done. Now where am I going? I bet you that axe would open up that Wapiti station. Just saying. I just yes. I, I had a thought. Hmm? Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed, or okay. you are, at least. Let's Where walk backwards. Right now? Just on my way back, in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. Oh. All right. So, uh, tell me what you think of this. <laughs> Uh... Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? No. Oh, oh fuck. fuck. Um, there isn't any way someone, like, another lookout could be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. Um... What about when I heard you talking to someone else? I just left your line open. That's not what this is. Get in your tower. Shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. Oh God! Now I'm creeped out again. I will call you. Okay. This is weird. This is weird. Whew. Thoroughfare Tower. This is Two Forks calling you for the oh fiftieth time today. The flapjack fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. <laughs> Delilah, for fuck's sake, answer your radio. Oh, God. Hello, sunshine. Sorry, went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? Uh, five bucks. Uh, you can do me for a trip out of here. I don't care if it's on horseback or a helicopter or in a canoe. Just get me out of here. Henry... We have work left to do. Take the Let's wedding ring off. About what's bothering you and you'll feel better. Are you serious? Let's Put that back on. Hmm? Talk. Okay? Uh, okay. By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? What? It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. What? Uh, uh, all right. Just, yes. you know, have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. Yeah, it's neat. Okay, yeah, it's up. Why are cool. you acting like this? Great. Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Yeah. Sure. It's the, uh... No. You don't need to tell me. Just, um, internalize it. It's, it's a great tree. And there's an area called, um, that tree's name in your sector that... Maybe you should take a midday hike to. Maybe. Uh. Oh. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Um, maybe I should go for a hike. Nothing okay. like an afternoon in the Rockies, I tell you. Radio me the moment you get there. Um. Which tree am I supposed to internalize again? The cottonwood, you dipshit. Second from the left. Head to a place named after that tree, and you'll have a wonderful afternoon. Scottish oil soap. Hmm, we need that. Okay, so... I'm not making pizza again while I'm up here. It's kind of trippy being out here now. I should take the whiskey and just get fucked up, but... Let's ride. Whoa, the flapjack fire isn't going anywhere, huh? It's getting a little smoky out here. Came out to burn that line. It's at the stage where all we can do is pay attention to it. They're not gonna try to put it out? Not yet, apparently. Uh, sometimes when you fight wildland fire, as I have, you just let it burn. You want it to hit some of the dug lines and water. So. 
Where is this tree? Go to Cottonwood Creek. Oh, I'm not looking for the tree, I'm going south to the creek. Okay. Okay. Ride or die. Ride or die, Henry. Faster. Mush. I'm gonna go down this way. I do indeed. So, I'm kind of interested to see who's following us, what's behind the fence. It's a little bit trippy. Jump, Henry! Jump! Wow! Hopefully Cottonwood Creek has a potential vehicle, like a, I don't know, moped, or perhaps a tank. I could choose between the two, a dirt bike rather than a moped, I suppose, or a tank. That would be Fandango. That is a very dead tree, Cottonwood. she leading me into a pincer attack where's my assault rifle when I need it what what a ski Leo and a big tree I feel like something's going to happen out here that's no bueno. Or maybe it's nothing. I am at Cottonwood Creek. Here I am. Hello. I am here. Am I walking through it? Uh, I'm here at Cottonwood Creek. You see the cash box there? Uh, it must be around here somewhere. It is. Find it and open it. I changed the code. It's 5678. Are you kidding me? 5678. Okay. 5678. How come we've never met each other? We've been out here for like a hundred days and we haven't met each other one time. Got it. Okay, found the cash box. Great, open it. I remembered this time. 5678. Five, Who do we appreciate? Henry. Henry, my boy. Copy. Uh, protect. Just one stray match. A new radio. Smart. Uh, I found what you left me. Good. Call me back with when you have it. Uh, did I hear something? No. Okay, creepy. Three blind rats ripped. Another Richard Sturgeon book. I'm not seeing of any anything of importance on the back of these, just super murder. Every time. It's off. Think this is gonna work? I got it now. Good. I spent all day getting you that radio. I hiked to a cash box, lied to a ranger, lied to another ranger, and hopefully you are now holding a clean, untapped radio. Hopefully. Holy fuck, Henry, we have to get into that site. Yeah. What the fuck is going on? Come on? People are listening to us? I don't know. 
Our radios are tapped? Are you fucking serious? Our radios are definitely tapped. That's why I left you the one you just got. How, how, how is this even possible? Oh, fuck. I don't know, Henry. What do you know? Tell me. I know that I'm scared. Yeah. I don't know how scared I am, it's just... None of it makes any sense. Are there any other lookouts this is happening to? Someone else in Should have asked anyone? if this was all in my head. This is just happening to us. Everyone else is fine. Are you sure? So this... Yes. I'm tripping. I've tried to bring it up to Chimney Rock, Elk's Fork, and Beartooth Lookout, and every one of them got confused. Asked me if I'm okay and if I need to be relieved. Our yeah. fucking state coordinator asked if I was just having lady troubles. <laughs> Asking. Are you? Is this all in my head? Laying on the floor because I don't know who could be watching. Am I yeah. just making all of this up? I mean, the eavesdropping, the spying, is this... Fuck, are you, are you... Is any of this real? What? Are you serious? Maybe I'm, I'm just... Maybe I'm just losing my mind. What? Like Julia... And maybe it's happening to me, and, and I'm imagining that I have a boss out here and that we're being spied on. Could be. Maybe there was something in the water, or our condo was underneath some power lines, and, and you, Delilah, you're not real. Henry, Henry, think about her. If what happened to her were happening to you, you wouldn't even be able to realize it. Yeah, that's true. Okay. That's why I'm... Henry. Is this what it's like? I'm as real as the sky is blue. I've never seen you. And then call me back. I've never seen you. On your side. In fact, I've never seen a human being out here. I've seen some silhouettes. Okay, I'm all right. I'm I don't know. I'm headed towards the site. Good. Keep your head up. I'm not done tripping balls. I'm not done tripping balls. I probably should have stopped the episode by now, but... I just thought of something not, um... Feeling it? Not great. What? Reply, what is it? What is it? I filed a report that said that neither of us ever talked to or saw those girls, the ones that went missing a few weeks back. You what? Why would you do that? So what? Or I guess. Sorry, I, I'm not following you. Yeah. Henry, our radios were tapped the entire time we talked about it. Maybe even your first day when you had the run-in with them. Oh. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Someone probably has a transcript of that entire conversation. Yep. And I've filed a report that's a blatant lie. Oh man, I told you to tell the truth, lady. Still missing. Fuck. <laughs> uh, uh, fuck. Indeed. We really need to get to the bottom of this. Okay. I'm... I'm really wondering... I think... I'm thinking Henry is just a... F uh, is just tripping balls, man. I can't tell. I don't know what's going on. Trying to go back to the beginning of the game at the questions I was being asked. Tripping balls, man. Okay. Let's go break into Wapiti Station. And find out if there's anything back there at all, or if it's just a fence to protect me. From something. Back down the hook. We go. Okay. <sighs> OK. 
Okay, we're back at the fence. You know this fucking axe can get us through the fence, right? We're at the gate. I'm busting the gate down. There's nobody around, and it's the quickest way in. Copy that. Come on, zombies and machine gun fire! <clears throat> the walking dead! <sighs> Should I try and fix this? Should I try to fix or hide this? No, screw it. Okay, then. Alright. Now we're on the same page. Open the lid. Ow! You got stung by a bee. Pick up the clipboard. Report the bee sting. Got stung by a bee. Okay. Is is that it? Yeah. Did it did it hurt? Yes, kind of. O okay, I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, okay, read this fucking thing. He's on site. University owned equipment, blah blah blah. Government owned equipment is another purview. Government owned equipment, bazookas. Okay. Keep that. Let's close that. Nope, can't close it. It's getting dark now. I think we should wield this axe. I'd like to wield this axe, please. Uh, well, this looks dangerous, but if anybody can make the jump, we know Henry can. I I can't have. I think there's something happening in my mind. I have an idea of what may or may not happen in here. We shall find out. What do you people think is going to happen in here? I think we're going to see something. Uh, music's getting weirder. Okay, so there's some sort of monitoring tower. Okay, I'm at the site. I don't see anybody around. Lucky for us. Yeah, lucky for us. For now. There is some serious comms equipment out here. Wireless stuff. What do you mean? I'm talking a big, 20-foot-tall transmission tower. And they could probably listen to whoever the hell they want. They're nestled down in this valley, which makes it impossible for you or any lookout to see them. Yeah, that's a good point. I think we should destroy the generator. Can we do that? Oh, okay. So we're going to continue on our way down in here, and in this valley, as it gets darker out. Some more up here. Uh, hello. I have an axe. Now oh, they're doing something with the soil out here too. It's all gritted off. Growing weed, bro. Right about the lichens. I think they're growing weed, bro. Another monitoring tower. What's this? Beeping equipment. There's all sorts of contraptions and shit out here. Like what? dishes and stuff on metal legs. There are wires all over the place. I don't know. I'm not really... I think it's just monitoring the ground. The soil. What's this? Uh, this stuff looks this expensive. It's not stuff from the hardware store. Yeah. I wonder if we should just destroy this shit. How come nobody can tell us have we even called anybody, like the government, to find out? Hard case. I'm in their main tent. What's it like? It's uh, normal. Definitely some sort of monitoring station. I mean, it's nothing weird though. Shelf of food. I just wonder where they are. All, all of their stuff is here. And they know you're there. So you see what you can find and get out. I don't know. I'm here. I don't think. Let's find out what's in the case. Damn it! I was hoping it was a shotgun! Doom style! Wave monitor. Yeah, it's mysterious, mysterious stuff. Okay, use the wave receiver. 
record. Uh, okay, this thing is losing its mind, beeping like crazy. Does that mean there's aliens? What's it after? I don't know. I'm gonna go find out. I know what it's after. I found their main monitoring desk. You should get out before they come back. I don't think there's anything weird there's going on here. Box here with a dial. It has a needle, like it measures earthquakes. I, I think this thing is responding to something in this pile of crap. On yeah, the, the black box. <laughs> oh, here we go. We are being observed. Guilt-ridden, susceptible to influence. Are you kidding me? What? What is it? There's a folder of reports here. What do they say? They're assessments about the two of us. Guilt-ridden, unsure. Me. Like what? Stuff I didn't tell you. This is... What, what does it say about me? You said there was one about me. And it looks like they've been following me around. Sure of self, I reliable. Jesus. Henry, do you hear me? You have a boyfriend, Javier? What the fuck? Wish you hadn't left that out. I don't. I, I didn't. This is insane. I'm so sick of letting these people do this to us. We should just burn the place down. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Think about it. Maybe that's what they want. Maybe that's what they want us to do. What do you mean? Maybe they're trying to push us to the point where we do something crazy. I mean, the grass is dry as hell here. It would go up in a second. Well, now I'm thinking, what if you're right? I, I just don't think we should do anything that we can't undo. Well, maybe it's not the best idea. Yeah, it's definitely not the best idea. Ah, so fucking wound up! Yeah, you need to take it easy. It's all right. I'm just going to hike back. We have the wave receiver, and tomorrow we can figure out what to do. Head back to Two Forks Lookout. Okay. Got another clipboard here that confirms that they're tracking our movements. The log they've got tracks the movement of four subjects. Let's keep that. Uh, yeah, definitely me. And I suppose you too. What about the other two? Uh... Uh... I don't know. Maybe the missing girls? Like, they're still out here and these people are following them? Probably. Maybe. It's possible, right? But then why One, you two, seen? three... I, I don't know. I really think you should just get out of there, okay? Get home and we'll regroup. They've got a map with all sorts of paths and areas marked out on it. There are lines that look like some of the paths I normally take. Are you positive it's you? Uh, some of their descriptions seem like uncharitable ways of describing me, yeah. Uh, it's a deer. Fill generator Wednesday and Sunday. I don't see anything that's going to help us, really. They're measuring the barometric pressure, too. Why? I mean, this stuff looks like it just got lifted out of the space shuttle. Yeah. Behind. It's not that I cool. Know, but it's just, you should see it. Place sleeps three. They've got a row of cots here. Yep. I want to know what that thing finds. Yep. Look, you should get out before they come back. Okay. I'm leaving now. Anything else, though? I think we should try and. I mean. At this point, they know we're here. Can I just. Okay. <laughs> nope. Is there a better way out of here? There's got to be another way to. Bust out? No? No? It was probably a good call not burning everything to the ground. Delilah's a little hormonal, I think. Something of this nature. Mad dashing. Head back to Two Forks. Look, I'm just going back to my lookout. This thing doing it? Doing anything? This knows which direction I'm going. 
Oh shit. Yep. Whoa. Saw that coming. Oh shit. Oh nice. Um, Delilah, there's smoke coming from the site. I just climbed out of there and the bridge collapsed. What the hell happened to you? It's definitely not the best idea. It wasn't me. <sighs> what do we do? Uh, call it in. Just call it in like any other fire. And what about who started it? What about them? Uh, the person who started it? Yeah. We're talking about people watching us out here who are now burning the forest and everything in it around us. I, I, I don't know what to do about that. Except get the hell out. Yeah, we gotta yes, go. Get us the hell out of here. I will. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Things are getting really weird now. I'm kind of confused. I took as much as I could. Who is listening to us? Is a very good question. This receiver just picked something up. Uh, what? What thingy? What now? I found a device that picks up frequencies. It's how I found the reports last night, and it's going off now. It just picked up a fre frequency? Oh, she's shit face. Yeah, what could it be? I don't know. You gotta find out. Alright, I'm on my way now. Why is she shit face? You know what I just picked up? Uh, uh, no. A fifth of Major Bueno tequila from the creek. Yeah, I realize drunk? that. No! Yep. I am getting drunk! Hey, D, I don't want to harsh your vibe, but maybe, just maybe, that's a bad idea. Yeah, kind of. Henry, Henry, Henry. What? You're harsh in my vibe. My thinking is, I could stay up all night worried I'm going to lose my job because of the side fire, or I could not worry. Who cares about the job at this point? It's not like there's any proof we were down there. Let's get fired. My thinking is, I'm going to follow this wave receiver. I like it when you think. Uh. Yay. She's wasted. I'll just leave you alone with whatever these thoughts are. My god. Ah, as much as I want to follow the wave receiver, I think we're going to call it quits for this episode. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.